Let's get to know our ingredients. Powdered sugar, raw cashew butter, powdered soy milk, cacao butter, Himalayan rock salt, vanilla extract, peppermint extract. The funny thing is, is that white chocolate isn't even real chocolate. It's not even Facebook friends with chocolate. It's not even LinkedIn third connection with chocolate. The only thing that kind of makes it a little bit like chocolate is the raw cacao butter that we're going to use, which isn't really even chocolate, it's just the fat taken out of the cocoa beans. So we're going to take this cacao butter over to the double boiler and melt it like I melt my enemies. Place your cocoa in the hot pot. So you might be thinking, ooh, great, I should stick my finger in here and give it a little try. However, cocoa butter actually tastes nothing like chocolate. It tastes like uh, poison. The only thing that makes white chocolate kind of taste like chocolate is the large amounts of sugar and vanilla extract we're gonna add to it. I'm melting, melting. Add your butter to your blender. Now we, all you have to do is add the rest of your ingredients. Oh, I made a mess. Isn't it weird how powdered sugar kind of looks like snow? Which means that I actually didn't make a mess, I just made it more festive. <laughs> I think we'll, oh, oh wow, that was excessive. Whoops. In my fantasies of you at home, you're doing this a lot more gracefully than I am. So we have here um, a cup of cocoa butter, a cup of powdered sugar. We are now adding half a cup of cashew butter and, and then we're going to add a pinch of salt. Just a small pinch, salt really helps bring out the flavor of chocolate naturally. The thing with this recipe is that you have to do it fairly quickly because your cocoa butter, your cocoa butter is going to start hardening, which I think mine has a little bit. So use your magic bullet and whiz it up really quick. This is done, it's ready to go. There's a couple ways that you can use this now. You can line a cookie sheet with parchment paper, put it in the fridge and allow it to harden, or you can use it in a different recipe. Now you can head over to the peppermint bark recipe and see how I use this in a fun way. So line your cookie sheet with parchment paper and then you just have to pour your chocolate on it. It's that easy. Okay, so you want to put this in the freezer for about an hour. Hopefully your freezer is bigger than mine. So we're in the back room because my freezer is too small. We have this wonderful freezer here. So check out the chocolate, rock hard. I'll join you back in the kitchen when this is ready. After like an hour, you have this. Look at all this white chocolate, holy moly man so there's a couple of ways you can do this you can just break it you can break it into pieces with a spoon this is always a fun way of doing it or like a little hammer mm. so good you know i like to serve these when i have people over over the holidays um they, it, you can stick it on a plate or on a bowl that's one way to do it but i like to also wrap it as you can see here so just pile them up like five or six and then just wrap the crepe paper around and then get a little bow or twine is always nice as well by bow i meant ribbon but just tie your twine or your ribbon into a bow and now you know how to make vegan white chocolate at home and it's super easy don't buy those stupid rabbits or santa clauses this doesn't have to be a christmas recipe it can be an easter recipe it can be a anytime recipe really it can be a breakup recipe. We've all been there. So Merry Christmas, or Happy Hanukkah, or Happy Kwanzaa, or you didn't need them anyway. Whatever it is that you're celebrating, have some chocolate. Eating a plant-based diet can be hard. So make sure you subscribe to The Edgy Veg for new videos every Monday, just like this guy. Or check out the Vegan Recipes playlist right here. Eat your heart out. I find this task to be tasking, but I think grating a potato is great. It is.